are driving you crazy with my rants. I don't know what's happening lately. I can't put it straight. Ah, I don't matter. This is uh, the January is uh, net. Oh, oh, there's a square. Uh, a square. A square. A squirrel. Look. It'll be funny if I let you go. Uh, okay. Never mind. Focus. Never mind that. A square. A squirrel. Okay. So anyway, this is this is New Brunswick, Canada. You know the land of freedom. Uh -oh. He would go right after. Ah, oh, squirrel, focus! Come on, ADHD dog, focus, focus. So anyway, this is New Brunswick. We're supposed to have freedom of speech here in New Brunswick, which we don't. And here in New Brunswick, if you go overboard, like the government behind me, they would accuse you to a you'll be associated with what you call a uh, murder suicide. Now we know what happened 13 years ago with the Bao Ku, a guy murdered his girlfriend and jumped off the Westmoreland Bridge. Mother worked for the Liberal Party. Mother made a complaint. That she was uh, sad because I blogged it. It was a murder suicide, and therefore the legislator banned me for life 13 years ago, just because I blog a story. Fredericton Police, the city of Fredericton, ordered Google to shut down my blog because some people, the public, ooh, he was calling Fredericton Police members uh, pedophiles. Then I said, hey, hey, hold it, hold it. They're the one that started. They're the one that called me a pedophile that raided my place with the RCMP team exploitation unit, sexual, whatever they call it, look for pedophiles. And they're the one that started. But I fought back, no, 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 they shut down my blog. So there's no freedom of speech here in New Brunswick because the media is so small, they will not investigate true issues here in New Brunswick. That's your government. Now if you go overboard, they'll jump on you and force you the system that you can't really fight through the courts because the courts, the judges are former politicians or close friends of politicians. Now, what? This is New Brunswick and if you happen to have a gun, let's say you walk around with a gun here in New Brunswick, what would happen? I remember somebody walk around with, with an umbrella and they thought that it was a rifle. And sadly, we know what happened with the shooting last summer. So, Fredericton, New Brunswick, we're not immune to violence on the streets or anywhere else. But one question that bothers me. When I rode my bicycle down the states in 1978, I seen one person with a gun in Washington, D.C. There was a former FBI agent showed me a gun. I never, never across the states seen people walking around with guns. I visited homes. I never seen no rifle, no guns. This was 1978. How come now, I was talking to a guy in Florida last week. He lives in Florida, and he's from here, won't mention no names. He told me in the theaters, they put no guns allowed. So I never seen the issue of rifle or guns when I was there in 1978. How come all of a sudden, we have a problem down this high, problem down the states about guns? That's what I want to know. How come all of a sudden, the last, 20 years, I know in 1981, there was a shooting in McDonald's in San Diego. I remember that. What, 17 people got killed. I think that was one of the first shootings. So how come the last 30 years, people are allowed to walk around and people see guns all over the place down the states? Can somebody answer me that question? Here in New Brunswick, you have an umbrella, you'll get shot. You talk about Honesty and corruption, you will be accused to be a pedophile. 
down the stairs, you will be shot. Boy, what a system we're living. Hey, right, doggy, you finished with your square? Let's go. Square. Squirrel! I had too many coffees. And look at this. Yes, and Christmas is over.